messaging right now with one of my employees, Hector. We have this little secret operation going on. Um, so Hector, four of my staff, Hector, Louis, Daniel, and Elda, they all live together. And Louis and Elda were my first hires ever. And then I ended up hiring Louis's brother, um, Hector, and then Louis, or Hector's friend, Daniel. So all four of them work for me. And it's funny that they all live together. And Elda and Louis were my first hires. Love them to death. They are like, just, I love them so much. Just yesterday, um, Louis was saying to me like they're buying furniture and they're getting things for their kitchen and they're so grateful and happy that they can afford these things because they were previously living in Venezuela and it was very dangerous for them and even a few weeks before Hector and Daniel were sharing with me on one of our weekly calls that they just got their IDs and that they're so grateful to be in a safe country now and I just was like <sighs> I'm so grateful that I have the ability to help people like this and um, not, not just help people but like I get to work with people that I get to make their lives better and, and like that's not I never realized that going into business that I get to be a leader and and help people to do what they love every day but also to make their lives better and their families better so I hope I hope he's giving it to them tonight so I don't have to wait too long for their reaction I just, I love them so freaking much. I never realized, like, when you go into business and you realize that your business isn't just about you, of course it's about the people you're serving, the people that you are, you know, providing your products and services for, but for me it's also so motivating to just love my team so much and be excited about the work we do every day and be excited about working together and I had so many years where I worked for companies that I didn't love, that I worked with people who weren't great role models and stayed in careers, stayed in jobs just because it was for a paycheck. And I never want anyone on my team to work for me because it's a paycheck. I want people to work with me because they love what they do and that this is a dream opportunity and everyone on my team is a true believer like that, that they love what they do and I want to do everything that I can to make sure that anyone that's on my team that I'm able to help them with their ambitions and their goals and their dreams. Like, I don't want people coming into this job so that they have a career that runs their life. I want it to fuel their lifestyle and for them to just be thrilled to, to work for this company and to, to do what we do. Okay, so I'm sending the money to Hector. He called me a fairy godmother. <laughs> he said that you're the best fairy godmother. <laughs> um, okay, okay. I'm gonna send money for, like it's a coffee maker. Like I'm sending them a coffee maker. Why am I getting emotional over a coffee maker? I just, I love them so much. Okay, like if I ever have a bad day, which hasn't happened a lot lately cause I'm just, I'm really happy with our team and really happy with the work that we're doing and I show up to work every day like I get to work with these people my clients I, I'm so lucky that I get to work with them I I get to show up as my best self every day and instead of like you know sometimes you can feel that imposter syndrome of oh my gosh this is like this is crazy I can't believe this is happening to me but like to really stand in your power and realize like I get to show up as my best self I get to help these people and I get to work with my team if I were ever to have a moment of like insecurity or a rough patch what brings me back to clarity is just my team okay let's see what happens okay so i got the message that hector delivered the surprise to everyone and i guess there's a video to watch let's see so he says mission accomplished sorry guys it took a while to edit and upload this but it's finally ready thank you so much for this daniel and i are bad vloggers but we did it that's so funny he actually it's like he actually edited a video for me. I thought he was just gonna like film with his camera. It's really like a two meal. Oh my gosh, he actually made it like a vlog. Oh, um, yeah. It's nice to see where they live. It's not shaky at all. Hola, mi nombre es Hector. Hola, señorita. Y somos parte del equipo de Marley. 
eh, acá no, en Argentina. Y bueno, el hecho es que somos cuatro de nosotros. Faltaría mi hermano y mi cuñada, que también son parte del equipo. We call that little sister in law. If they're, hang on, I was, if they're not part of this video, it's for a good reason, he says. We moved to a new place. Marley and Wayne found out about this and they want to give us a surprise. One of the things we like the most is coffee, we drink a lot of it. I know someone who's going to be most excited about this present. Así que sí, la sorpresa va a ser una máquina de café, una muy muy bonita y muy buena máquina de café. Y Elda y Luis van a ser los sorprendidos porque no saben nada de esto. Así que bueno, sean cómplices con nosotros y acompáñenos a ver todo este proceso y obviamente la mejor parte que va a ser la reacción de Miguel. First stop, buying a bag of Starbucks coffee. <laughs> They're good little vloggers. Ah, okay. Oh, he said you can't film here. Café en Starbucks. Oh, they make it in red. They don't. <laughs> They sent me options and I was like, that's the best one. Oh, look how they wrapped it and they put my letter. Aww. They did such a nice job of wrapping it. Eh, pero estamos listos, ahí tenemos la cafetera envuelta con su tarjeta y todo y bueno, viene la fase final del, del video que es la entrega Oh my god sí. Hola, ok eh. They're sitting at the table Hola She's probably like, why are you filming? Oh my 
chicas son lo que uh, forman parte de nuestra familia y que simplemente los queremos, los queremos muchísimo, muchísimo y que esto es un pedacito de yeah. Marley y de Wayne. This is part of Marley and Wayne here in Argentina. Y eso nos emociona mucho y de verdad muchísimas, muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much, guys. We love you. Thank you so much, Marley and Wayne. It's a dream come true working with you. We are so grateful for all these years and the ones to come. More than friends, you're a family. We love you and you can count on us forever. <sighs> Hang on, there's something else. Oh, at the end they did hashtag Team Marley. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so cute. I love them so much. They're from Argentina, but they were first in Venezuela and it was very dangerous for them. And then they earned enough money that they could move somewhere safer. And then two of them like just got their IDs. So they're like safe there. Like they're not, they're not going anywhere. And I've been working with them for like a few years. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna take them all to Disney World one day. Especially Elda, she's like, yes! <laughs> well, that was the best feeling in the world. I don't even have words. I have an amazing team, but I couldn't do any of this without. Oh, yeah, they can't talk today. And it just inspires me that I'm able to do things that can make their lives better and make our clients' lives better. I learned so much about being a good leader and managing a team from Alex Sharfin who leads by example and is very inspiring. And I have an incredible opportunity to learn from him and work with him. And I just can't imagine where I'd be with my business and my team without that, without him, without the amazing team I have. I'm a little emotional, I'm trying to vlog <laughs> because I want to like talk about this while I'm in this moment, just as <laughs> I love what I get to do. Do more.